Thanksgiving is coming and we're making turkey legs. Giant turkey legs. Smoked, fried, grilled, and oven roasted. Smoked, fried, grilled, and oven roasted. It's gonna be great. Best part of the turkey is the leg, I think. Keep your breasts. Keep your breasts. I mean, I'm okay with the white meat of the breast, but it's nothing like a thigh or a leg. Especially when we're not dealing with regular turkey legs. We're dealing with, I got my air quote fingers going, giant fucking turkey legs. Oh, 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 giant? What's giant? This is giant. There you go. This is a two pound massive turkey leg. Look, it'd be one thing if I held the little turkey leg really close to the camera to F up the scale of it. But there it is right beside my head. If anybody said to me, how big's your head? I'd go, it's the size of a giant freaking turkey leg. Put your phone next to it. Oh, here's my phone, wait. Right there. Giant turkey leg, my little phone. <laughs> Look at, that's a big turkey leg. You have it's, four it's new two. Pornhub recommendations. It's, hey, hey, by the way, we have a video on Pornhub. Don't make jokes. Has anybody looked at it? We put a, Max, it's all Max. I had nothing to do with it. Max put a video on Pornhub that said. It gets me hard. Jesus. That said, <laughs> porn can be food porn. And I'm sure we pissed a lot of guys off. They're in the middle of whatever, and they come across a steak being cut, cheese sauce being bored. Sorry for anybody whose who's fun time we ruined. I apologize. Okay, let's look at these giant uh, legs, and then we'll talk about what I've done to them and what we're gonna do to them. There they are. That's some turkey meat right there. Am I, am I right or am I right? When dealing with a poultry, especially turkey, especially at Thanksgiving. The best thing you can do before you cook it is to brine it. Everybody say with me, brine, brine it. it. Exactly. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One is a salt, sugar, herb solution. Boil some water, put a bunch of salt in, some sugar, some random herbs, mix it all so that everything, uh, what's it called? The, the salt and the sugar dissolve. Everything dissolves. You let it cool. Then you take your turkey and this, this brine solution. You put them together in a bucket or a, or a giant uh, turkey brining Ziploc bag. And away it goes into your refrigerator for 24 or 48 hours. And what the salt does is the salt makes it juicier, more tender, way more moist. It's a really good thing. But there's a version called dry... Why do these keep coming out of my arms? I'd dry brining, and dry brining does all the same things, juicy, tender, moist, but without the water. So that's what I've done to my turkey. Oh boy, my bad. That's what I've done to these turkey legs. I mixed salt, no sugar. I mixed salt, pepper, sage, and thyme, and I scattered it over top and I put these in my refrigerator, uncovered for the last 24 hours, uncovered. And that's important because what happens is the skin starts to dry out a little bit. And in an oven situation, you'll get crispier skin. On the grill situation, we should have crispier skin. Smoking, same, and then the deep frying, well, that's gonna deliver its own delicious, crispy skinness as it is. So what we have to do now is nothing more than put together a little rub and then get them going in all the different places we're cooking them. Who shows you how to cook turkey legs four different ways and giant ones at that? Who? Go on. Just think for a minute. Go on. Let's come up with some other channel that's done this for you. Oh, sh Turns out that Babish, Weissman, Food Wishes, <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay have all done that. <laughs> but... And here's the question you might be asking yourself, Sam, I'm down with this so far, but where does one get giant turkey legs? Well, that's a very good question because I went looking right here in San Diego and we have turkeys in San Diego County. But, oh, another thing. Where do giant turkey legs come from? Giant turkeys? They come from boy turkeys. The, the top. Again, with the fingers. 
They come from tom turkeys. Like the big boy turkeys are going to have big boy legs. But I couldn't find them. I went to a store. They said they had them. I walked up like three feet away. I'm like, those are dinky turkey legs. That's not what I want. I want a massive effing turkey leg. So a friend of mine, Greg Rempe, has a podcast called The Barbecue Central Show. Has a, has a, has a sponsor called The Butcher Shop. Or as I like to say, The Butcher Shoppy, because there's two P's and an E at the end. In Pensacola, Florida, that's where these came from. So, we'll put a link below. Kevin at the butcher shop can send you these. Of course, you have to pay him, but he's a super nice guy. By the way, don't go looking for a website for the butcher shop because they don't have one. They have, a, um, they have a Facebook page, which somehow is charming for me. I always want to look at a web page to figure out what's going on, but the butcher shop doesn't have one. They only have Facebook, and that to me says they don't give a crap about all that fancy, newfangled stuff. They take care of their meat. <laughs> All right, we make a seasoning and then we're cooking. The rub starts with black pepper, then gets garlic powder, smoked paprika, sage. I love dried sage. It's so Thanksgiving-y and thyme. Also Thanksgiving-y. Is that a word, Thanksgiving-y? And we mix. And, and break it up well because this, the sage needs a little help. Boy, it smells great. And then let's apply it to our legs. So here they are, and they're looking a little, you know, mottled in their color because they've been drying in my refrigerator for 24 hours with nothing on them. So here's what we're going to do. We'll turn them over. Everybody's going to get just a tiny little bit of avocado oil. It's going to help all this stuff stick. You don't need a lot. And then on we go, and that will look like this. We'll cover the back of everybody a little bit. Touch more oil on this side because we haven't done it. And we continue seasoning. And do the ends too, right? This big ass open part and last. No salt because there was salt in the dry brine. So we should be in good shape here. So here's what's happening. Smoker, oven, grill, deep fryer. Let's go. Here's what this is gonna look like. Here's my smoker. Here's this giant leg. We're gonna use the temperature probe because we wanna see what the temperature is. So in the thickest part, not hitting any bone, in we go. We're looking for it to be between 165 and 170 degrees when it's done. Somebody say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, ready for the oven. Also gonna use a probe thermometer here. Set to the same thing and in we go. The wire sticks out. And we're set. This guy has an internal temperature right now of 50 degrees. We got a little ways to go. And the grill. So here's what I've done. Indirect side, no heat under here. This is the hot side. I'm gonna try and keep this at 325 degrees, like the oven, like the smoker. And of course, I'm gonna have to turn the kid, you know, every uh, 10, 15 minutes or so to even out the cooking, but it'll be fine. Sean Connery died. Sad about that. I have a quick Sean Connery impression. Shall I? Yes. <clears throat> Money Penny, please get me my Walter PPK pistol and a martini. F the shaken part. I just want it stirred. They fed up my life all these years with a shaken. F it. Sorry. <laughs> it's actually it's okay for a second. It's pretty good. It's okay for a second. Uh, all right. So now, uh, last but not least, is the deep fried. Giant turkey leg. Kind of want everything to come out all about the same time. Everybody's at three and a quarter. The smoker, the grill, the oven. Typically, in an oven, traditional old school turkey, you roast for about 13 to 15 minutes a pound. In a deep fryer situation, it's three to four minutes a pound. So clearly we have a little time on our side, which Which means that this guy doesn't have to go anywhere anytime soon. Stay right there. We'll show you what's going on. And then we get to eat these things at the end. They're going to be f***ing rad. Cut. F*** you, Disneyland. Oh. All right, it's been uh, about a half an hour. Oh, look how pretty this kid is. Wow. Tightening up, skin feeling delicious. Our internal temperature is 125 degrees. So we've got 
I don't want to do that math. We've got 40 degrees to go. Wait, you Four... don't want to or you can't? I just did the math. <laughs> I don't want to, it hurts my head, but. So we're, we're looking for 165 to 170 or 100 and a quarter. And by the way, it's looking beautiful. Let's check the other guys and see how they're doing. And the grill version looks like this. Hi, buddy. Should we get a temp on him? Look, 127. We're all tracking beautifully here, man. Well, it's all the same temp, but I'm very happy with this. All right, let's put him back out. Remember, the heat's coming from this side, so I've got the big fat end of the leg right here closest to that. Next up is the oven. All right, and the oven guy, looking very nice himself, he says he's 150 degrees already. So this guy might be coming out soon. Chill out, bro. Exactly. All right, it's time to give away another one of my cookbooks. It comes out November 10th. We said we'd give one away every episode release day until it hits the shelves. And this one goes to Peter Montanen, who writes, where do I get one of those guns? LMFAO, I love your fries. I'm from Canada in Winterpeg. It's a little inside joke. Canadians refer to Winnipeg as Winterpeg because the weather just fucking blows in the winter. It's awful. I would love one of your books. Well, guess what, Peter? You're getting one. Reach out to us at infothecookingguy.com. I'll sign it and we'll get it coming in your Canadian direction. And by the way, perfect uh, opportunity right now. Well, we got a minute for you to uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. You know another reason that they should be doing that? Another reason you should do this, Max says, is... All the great shit we're going to be giving away oh, this yeah, holiday we've got, season. Oh, we've yeah, got, uh, we've got the holiday gift-giving time coming up. By the way... Except we're not going to be giving away an Evo this year. We are giving away an Evo oh, this shit, year. Oh, shit, we are. We're giving away an Evo. We're giving away a cool stuff, so... So just uh, Astro. Astro! Hey. We're giving away Astro. Astro! 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 Who wants him? The little yappy f next door. The turkey legs? They're almost here. Well, the, uh, the smoker uh, turkey leg, the oven turkey leg, and the grilled turkey leg are all tracking beautifully. Very similar temperatures. But you remember this kid? The guy that's going in the deep fryer? It's time for him to go into his hot oil bath. Come on. Oh, look. He just fits. That two pound leg just fits. And down he goes. I think I'm going to have to turn him at some point. It doesn't quite get covered all the way. Wow. Look how beautiful. And the skin, gorgeously crispy. A little bit more. We're there. The uh, deep fried leg is finishing. Let's go collect up our other kids. We'll come back here. We'll pull that guy off. And then we eat. Let me set up the scenario for you. You're sitting in a coffee shop, having coffee. You're doing a lot of work because that's where a lot of work is done these days. And as you're concentrating intently on your computer, maybe sending important documents, doing some banking, you take a second, you look around. It's an attractive person over there. I like the display they've got there and boom. Your eyes land on a creepy looking person staring intently at you. Now, is he just staring at you? Or has he been trying to steal the information in your computer? Very good chance because that's where it happens. That's why you want ExpressVPN. Okay, so what is ExpressVPN? It's a virtual private network. It's a cone of security that wraps around you like a warm blanket, giving you the opportunity to do what you want without any eyeballs on you, nobody watching, nobody able to steal your information. Oh, and check this out. If you think when you're home, you're safe from prying eyes, well, guess what? Your internet provider can see every site you visit. Every site you visit. Yes, but you have your Express VPN installed. You go through the little side door of it and boom, there you are. The internet is your oyster. So what do you do? Because you want to be secure these days. We spend too much time out in public with our laptops open, naked and afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't have to be like that. 
And depending on where you live, Netflix and other streaming services have different shows and movies. And that means you might not get exactly what you want. And you can see right here, I was able to access Rick and Morty just by changing my location. I have it, you want it, you wanna be secure. So find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description below, expressvpn.com slash STCG. That's short for Sam the Cooking Guy. Expressvpn.com slash STCG. Feel safer, because let me tell you something, it feels really good. Our smoked leg first. Everybody is sitting right around 170 degrees. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Okay, next up, let's get the oven one. Wow, and there we go. Pull this guy out. Oh my gosh, it's very pretty, huh? Okay, on it goes. Now the grill one. And our grill buddy. Wow, we barely have room on here for everyone. And last but not least, our deep fried buddy. Wow. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, let's set him down. And let's go. And here they are. Yes, they are. Our, our turkey leg contestants. Who's ready to find out which one of our turkey legs wins today's cooking competition? I am. I guess nobody else is into this. It's just me. So, so now let's just have a quick look at what we've got in front of us, shall we? So here they are, smoked in the skin. Feels very good, nice and tight. Oven roasted, traditional, skin feeling good. Not quite as tight as over here. This is the grill version. It's not bad, no, nope, not crispy, really. And then deep fried, and yes, you would expect the skin to be pretty good on this one, right? Oh boy, I just want a bite of each and every one. Let's start from my right, your left, and we'll have a bite of the smoked turkey leg first. And yes, if you've ever been to Disneyland, they do make giant turkey legs like this. I mean, I don't know if it's exactly like this, but. Oh my God. Oh my God. A little bit of pink smoke ring in here. Let me tell you, Thanksgiving, this is the move. You get a ton of meat off of this. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold back. Smoked. Super delicious. Oven roasted, old school, generally my favorite. Mmm. Wow. Super juicy and tender. More than the smoke. Not that the smoke was dry, because it wasn't. Grilled. <laughs> this is so fun. Mmm. Look here. Oh my God. You see this? That's some delicious. Your face is so fucked up. Huh. And last, but there's no good way. And I'm, I'm going back for more. And now the deep fry. Look at this kid. What you could have done just in a pot of oil. It's that simple. All right, I need a bite. Is there a winner? I don't know if there's a winner. I know who's the winner. We're all winners today. Here's what I'm thinking. Mm. You know what? They're all so good, but they're just slightly different to each. Max is right. They're all winners. We're all winners and you are all winners. Are they winners? Yes, yeah. you're winners because you're watching and enjoying and, and you've learned something. And what have you learned? You've learned if you can't cook a whole turkey or don't want to cook a whole turkey, get a couple legs. Call our boy Kevin at uh, the butcher shop in Pensacola, Florida and get some of these crazy ass things. Oh my God. Mm. Thanks for hanging. This could be the new Thanksgiving around here the whole turkey. Let's just do a shit ton of these. Hmm. You. Oh my God. You see this? That's some delicious. Your face is so fucked up. 
And last, but there's no good way. And I'm, I'm going back for more. And now the deep fry. Look at this kid. Which you could have done just in a pot of oil. It's that simple. All right, I need a bite. Is there a winner? I don't know if there's a winner. Mm. You know what? They're all so good. But they're just slightly different each. And what have you learned? You've learned if you can't cook a whole turkey or don't want to cook a whole turkey, get a couple legs. Call our boy Kevin at uh, the butcher shop in Pensacola, Florida, and get some of these crazy ass things. Oh my God. Mmm. Thanks for hanging. This could be the new Thanksgiving around here. F the whole turkey. Let's just do a shit ton of these.